Before we continue this video, I have something interesting to show. So, as we all know, the ra uh, military radio has that message on it. So, what I did is I went into a Morse code translator, put in that message, and it spelled this. Pretty cool. Anyways, on to the video. Hey guys, Trent Games here, and today we are going to attempt to go to the Sky Island. Now, before I started this series, I watched a video of 2R Games playing this map, and what they uh, what they did to get to the Skyland is went into that floating house in the town area and sacrificed a horde beacon. So I've been a little bit busy off camera, getting a couple components. So I was confused about the component part for a little bit because I thought it was something that naturally occurred, like rubber or chemicals and whatnot, but it is a craftable substance. So as seen right here, it requires a gyroscope, which is found at typical construction sites or construction areas, a Uphone 14, which is which I found at the tech store, the defibrillator battery, which seemed to be a little bit rare, but I found it at the mall uh, medical store, which is at the first level of the entire mall, and two duct tape, which can be found almost anywhere. To craft the horde beacon, it requires a graphics card, uh, components, five uh, rubber, two chemicals, five rope, four metal sheets, one military radio, and one blowtorch. Now we got it. Now we have. Now we actually have the horde beacon. Is it snowing right now? Kinda looks like it. All right, let's get to the town. I like the way the horde beacon looks. It's a really good looking horde beacon. All right, so I've been, so earlier while farming, I was looking for a way to get up and there's a ladder right over here. So I actually have to climb up this barn more stable area. So from there we have, to, we have to go around, we have to jump on this box, jump on that wagon, on that box again, then we could just go over here, do some p epic parkour. A sentry engine, it's legendary crafting supplies, it's pretty good. All right, let's climb up. Now it's really snowing in the daylight. All right, now we have to actually jump over here. Parkour, parkour, parkour. All right, now this last jump, parkour. Oh my gosh, she barely made it. All right, this dude need to sacrifice. Well, let's do it. You may proceed. All right, let's go. Is this heaven? It's a weird looking balloon. Guess we just take the balloon. Hey, we got the balloon. Oh, we can actually, and it has slow fall as well. Look, 75% slow falling. Oh boy. Hey, we on the floating island. Look at that. Can we, wait, can we? Okay, yep, we probably can. All right, let's check this out. Oh, there's a music area. Interesting. Insane dub snip. Let's keep looking around for anything interesting. Oh, oh that's a giant cannon. But we can use it? Wait. <laughs> what the heck, man? Oh my gosh, we just keep launching pigs out. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh shoot, man. Look at all the pigs. Jeez. Hey, look, it's the talk to rain right. Greetings. All right. We have two quests. Huntsman, summoner, or... I think we should go huntsman. Kill 150 zombies in the city area. We get 100 experience and antique artifact. Yep. Except... All right, let's see what else is uh, in this area. Got this Fisher dude, trade. Uh, that is, I only have, what, what I, Naz? What the heck is that? Oh, I see, so the tablets are actually worth stuff. So this dude is buying eels and whatnot. Raw eel, a raw sunfish, swordfish. A lot of stuff that we could probably sell this dude. And let's check over here. Does he do the same thing? Oh, he just sell. Oh, we can buy stuff from him. That's super neat. We have to remember this dude. We can also sell uh, components to him. We'll sell him a can and a rope for 180 naz, I guess. Got the farmer. He's selling all this, all the seeds and stuff. So whenever we start farming, we can always go talk to him. I, rem I remember there was like a 
in the 2R games video, there is apparently a weapons, like a weapon dealer. Is this it? No, it's, no, this is just some medical dude or the doctor. Uh, the guy actually might be in this building over here. Oh, unlock box. One zero out of one mysterious chest. Tic-tac-toe. All right. That yeah, might be here. Wait, is this it? Oh, it probably is. Let's see what guns he... Alright, so he is buying the... He's buying the Wisp, the Double Down, the pa, the Palace. Wait, did I just sell my gun? Please don't tell me I just sold my gun. Okay, thank goodness I didn't sell my gun. The Reflection, the Valentine, the... The Ski, the ski Lark, and then the Tusk. I think we have some of those guns, so we could probably sell them for a pretty nice price. And then what he's selling is he's selling the puck. Uh, he's selling the puck, the palace, the pog gun, and then the pandiculator. It's like an that looks like a jackhammer. And then this one looks like a honey badger or the PDW. The rebel that looks saw. Huge amount of player damage, and then the heat wave this hefty LMG. I think there's so we found that dude. That's good. Oh, this guy sells all the attachments as well. Jeez, you can buy almost everything here. What about this guy? Oh, he sells a lot of stocks and grips. This dude, he sells and he sells more stocks, grips, and sights. Is there anyone else? Maybe up here. I see. Greetings, young traveler. Oh, this is how we turn our stuff into actual like into actual i guess the currency here what about this dude oh he sells the armor let's see all right so he's buying uh, a lot of common military stuff the military sling stuff oh he's also buying the backpack we have one an extra one of those so we probably go and sell him one of those all right let's check what he's selling night vision another pair of night vision Thick military top, 20% body armor, thick military bottom, more body armor, a military backpack, military helmet with face shield, this thing looks beefy, 40% re damage reduction, or no, armor, thick military vest, 40% body armor, and a thick military backpack? I think this is what we need next. 80 slots, that is... Yeah, let's look at that. It's 24 more than the other one. So wait, how much did that cost again? That costs 3k of this currency. So I think we just need to get more... Uh, we just need to get more supplies from that. Here, wait, let's keep shooting more pigs. No, can we please? No, we can't. Oh, that's a bummer, man. I think we should probably complete this quest. Alright, so the question is... Oh, wait, we could just get the balloon and float down. We should probably get go back to our house because it's a... Uh, a little chilly, oh my goodness. Burning three calories like nothing. Probably because it's so cold. All right, we're floating down. Pretty sick, man. So apparently I had to go to the city area and kill a lot of zombies. All right, now we're at the mall. Now what I'm, what I'm assuming is that this entire uh, no building zone is counts as a city, so let's see. Yep, one zombie out of 150, so. I'll get back to you when I've killed everyone here. Now I'm pretty sure we murdered most of the zombies here already, so... I'm pretty, so I'm pretty sure what we're, gonna, what we're gonna have to do is go all the way here to the demolition site, then all the way to town, then all the way to junction, prison, fire station, hospital, dorms, and, oh, dorms and park, and I think we might get eventually get enough zombies. I'll come back when we actually complete the quest. Oh my goodness, that at, that at least took that took quite a bit of time. I at least have gone around the certain landmarks like at least twice, man. It was a lot of killing out of deal. Oh, we're going on the run road. There's a bra momentum. We're just heading home to see if we can maybe pick up a couple of things and also drop off uh, some loot. Alright, we're here. 
Let's... Alright, give me a second. Alright, let's head to the town area. Alright, let's kill our final zombies. Okay, we need a backup for this dude. Oh, bam. Alright. Final victim. He'll forever be remembered. Oh. Nice. We're back. Mr. Zombie, we finished our... I meant... Rain right. Rain right. We did it. Antique artifact, please. Greetings. <clears throat> what about the summoner quest? Do one horde beacon in Ghost Valley. Collector's quest? Oh, okay. I see. We need to get all the key cards. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed uh, what you want, appreciate it if you gave a like and a subscription. It really, it really tells me that this is a good series and I should keep doing it. Also, I'm having a lot of fun on this map. It's a very, very cool map indeed. Anyway, thank you for watching and bye.